morning everyone um today i'm gonna be talking about um basically the beginner basics of manual so oh i'm out of breath i like ran up the stairs so i actually thought um of an analogy this morning and i feel like i was like so clever so we're gonna be talking about aperture iso and shutter speed so those three things you will have to know for shooting manual. You have to know like how they work, how they work together. So keyword, they have to work together. So every morning, if you're like me, you have a cup of coffee. Oh, you spill it on yourself. Okay, I'm so awkward. Okay, so you usually have to have a cup of coffee in the morning. Well, how do you make that coffee? Well, you need a cup, you need your coffee, or like your, I'm gonna talk. Start, I'm gonna talk lattes because I make lattes in the morning. It's bougie like that. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, another awkward comment. Okay, here we go. My husband would be making fun of me right now. Um, so everyone in the morning has a latte or a coffee. So how do we make that? Well, we have our cup, we have our um, espresso shot, and we have our milk, and we put all those together, and we make a great cup of coffee. So. We are going to use, this is our aperture, our mug, our coffee is our ISO, and the milk is the um, shutter speed. So that's my little analogy, and you need all of it to make a great cup of coffee, and you need all of those three things to get the perfect photo. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about aperture. Aperture is how much light you let into your camera. Also, it's um, what your depth of field is also. So, depth of field. Um, so say you have a really, really low aperture, so it's a 1.4. Like this lens I have here, it's an 85 millimeter, and it's a 1.4. So this can um, make the background super blurry and have like um, my object like, like popping out basically because the background is so blurry. Um, the more higher you go, um, the smaller the aperture gets and the more um, in focus everything comes. Hope that makes sense. Next is ISO. ISO is, um, you could say it's almost like fake light. Um, it adds to your camera, but also the higher the ISO, the grainier your photo will become. Um, my last video I gave you a little cheat sheet on kind of where to put your ISO and where the guidelines just to kind of like stay around if you need help with that. Um, but let's go to the next thing. Let's go to shutter speed. It is measured in fractions of a second. So um, if you want to uh, take a picture of someone running, you would want that at one thousandth of a second. So that would be like the one over one thousand. You would you would want it high because that's how fast the camera goes. <laughs> that was really slow, but like. <laughs> so basically, the higher that is, the more like you'll you'll freeze your image. Um, I'll throw up some images with like aperture shutter speed ISO attached to that photo. Okay, so we're outside and we want someone, your couple to like be running at you um, and you don't want it to be like super blurry obviously. So you would put your shutter speed as high as like to say 2000 or even 1000 like in between there. Um, and then you would have, I wanted to be like I wanted the depth of field to have a blurry background. So I, I would probably put that to, I don't know, you can even do 1.4 or if it's a little bit too much you can do um, like 2.8. Um, I put that there and then my ISO I would probably keep around 100 to 200 and then I'd they would be running at me and then you would do like a continuous shot they all kind of like work together yes this is like super super basic um, but once you understand those three things you will have no problems and you'll You'll just honestly practice makes perfect. Like I'm still not perfect, but I have an understanding of it. Um, each also note each lens you have has a different 
aperture which also affects your photos so my main lens I use is a 20, 24 to 70 which is a beautiful lens but it's only a 2.8 so it can't go any lower than that um, so sometimes like I still get a blurry background but sometimes I want more so I would probably throw on my um, 85 millimeter um, 1.4 most people love like the 35 um, the reason why I picked the 85 is because for weddings and I don't want to be all up in people's business um, so I got the 85 but my 24 70 I literally can like shoot a whole wedding on that because it's super universal and that's why I got it because lenses are expensive and that's why I got the 24 70 but yeah so just an overview um, you want to know your aperture your shutter speeds and ISO so how much light you want to you want to bring in and honestly just like go and practice even if it's like taking pictures of your kids taking pictures of your animals um, getting a couple to go outside um, yeah honestly it just takes practice I wish I had this knowledge and the raw like this is how it works sometimes it just gets confusing and I wish someone just said do this do that do this which is good but you also have to practice don't I want to stress that to you too because um, practice makes perfect but yeah besides the point please subscribe because that would support me the most and I love making these videos for you and I find it really fun and I'm kind of nerd that way I guess you could say um but yeah uh yeah so like and subscribe talk to you later bye